right. We find ourselves back in the town of Lylan. Lylan. Or Laylan, if you're a local. Oh. <clears throat> oh, right, we stopped here. <clears throat> Top of it's been about a week since you all settled. It's been about a week since you all have moved in here. And there's a lot of work to be done. You notice immediately that there's a lot of buildings that have not been attended to in decades that are not in great repair. Many people are living in very muddy camps outside of the town. Some of the only buildings that are functional right now are the fishery and the shrine of Lathander. And some of you are maybe trying to get yourself set up. Uh, Silk, you likely have moved in in and around or near the town square with your up-and-coming business, and you maybe have just started getting some of your contacts established to make sure that you get your goods down here where the folks are going to need them. Uh Yeah, jumping through the hoops with the local guard to make sure that it's not hassled at the gate. La Phantasma, as a representative of Lord Neverember, you have spent much of the week trying to get to know the guards, and it is to you that our first quest is presented. Oh. There's a half-orc stonemason you've come to know who's been, as you've been coming into here, her name is Breltora Redeye. And she comes to see you one morning. Can you type that name out? Yeah, sure. Breltora Redeye. Uh, she approaches you with, an, with a worried expression on her face. Uh, she's like, La Phantasma, uh, can I, I don't want to disturb you uh, during your breakfast, but uh, I'd like to ask you about something. Yes, uh, what is it? Um, I'm friends with one of the soldiers. Uh, his name's um, Vester Jessup. He's a private. He works under Sergeant Yoram. Uh, he was sent into the Mirror of Dead Men as part of a regularly scheduled patrol, but... He and his patrol haven't really come back, and Sergeant Yoram told me not to worry, but it's been a day or two, and they still haven't made it back. Where'd they go? Uh, they went into the Mirror of Deadman to the south. Let me pull up the map of the Sword Coast for you all. You all are here. The Mirror is to your south. Okay. And how many people are uh, missing? Oh, well, the patrols usually have about four people in them. Uh, their duty is to patrol the stretch of the high road that runs along the edge of the swamp and make sure nothing comes out of it. I mean, they, they've had trolls go down there before, and Vester told me they'd run into nests of snakes or maybe an alligator, but they've never run into anything really troublesome before. Oh. Well, I will talk to my compadres, and we will see what we can do. Uh, thank you, La Fantasma. She bows her head slightly. She's much taller than you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going uh, to just look up. I'm going to bow back. Madam, I guess I'm going to go find the rest of my compadres. Uh, thank you. You see her walk off, but you see she's kind of fidgeting with one of her tools that's hanging from the side of her belt a little bit as she walks away. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to go and find the rest of the crew. Token, where do you think you would be now that you're in this new town? Idle Island. <laughs> okay. Why Idol Island? I make a uh, a big idol of myself. Of yourself? It's kind of a religious site for some people. It's interesting. Oh Jesus! Here we go. Pull up the Leyland information. Tell me, can't do it. Why? Well, I, I did I? give you guys. Because you are not uh, an it idol. It contains the remains of crumbled statues of forgotten human nobles. The settlers claimed to hear whispered voices on the island that night. Have you been staying there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> We're soaking. Oh, he lost his goddamn mind over that one. <laughs> He's talking to himself. Oh, shit. Oh, good for you. <clears throat> I was going to say, it's probably a 13. You receive prophetic dreams in your sleep. Oh, this oh, is fun no. because I played the adventure. I'm going to do a highlight reel for Jazzy now. This is going to be a little bit of an inside joke. You see... <laughs> you see before you... <clears throat> the strange... You see a large green dragon shifting before you. You see a bronze dragon with a very confused look on its face preparing to breathe fire upon you. You see hordes of undead storming the walls of Lylan. And you eventually find yourself sailing on a ship at sea with very confusing sailors about you. Oh, oh my. Fucking wild. What what adventure was that? Uh, it's future stuff from this adventure. Oh. <clears throat> uh, you have inspiration for spending a night on Isle Island, so good for you. You do not have a level of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, token may not be immediately available, but you can find Silk pretty easily inside of his shop. <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, hey, Silk! How you been? How you doing? Good. You, you find Silk, he's like hammering up a sign over the door. It says, fineries like Silk. Of the door. That's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Anywho, so listen, we got a job to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh the Never Ember job? Well, so, listen. So, Latora Red Eye came to me. She's a orc mason that I've become quite friendly with. Uh, she's friends with some soldiers, and uh, she said there's a patrol that uh, went down to uh, Mirror of Deadmen to the south that, that they usually patrol to make sure nothing comes out of those swamps, and uh, they haven't come back. Hmm. Uh, how long? So, oh, it was just recently. I forgot. I didn't write that part down. They are a couple <laughs> of days overdue at this point. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to okay. write that down. Uh, um, do you but, have uh, a local I told... to guide us through the swamp? I uh, I do not, but I can find us one if you want to uh, go and gather token sure. from Idle Island. I'll uh, I'll get us a a map and guide and make sure we're all set to go. Yeah, I can do that. And Silk, uh, like, awesome. T you know, claps his hands together and and walks off to go find a rowboat. I'll, I'll even pay for half of uh, what it costs for you to find somebody to watch your shop. Oh, I'm I'm sure someone in the guild will. Uh, Help me out. Oh, that's right. You got your fancy guild person. All right. Well, I'm going to go talk to Bratora, Braltora, Red Eye again. I'm going to go find her. Okay. Yeah. She's back in her, in her store. Okay. Uh, she'll direct you to Sergeant Yoram for information on the patrol and where they may be going. Okay. All right. Uh, do you know? Uh, I'm going to ask her if she knows like uh, somebody that. That a guide or somebody that knows where they're going to show us the way. Uh, I should just ask you to check in with Sergeant Yoram because gotcha. he knows whatever the patrol routes are that they would have gone on. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to go find Sergeant Yoram. All right. You'll find Sergeant Yoram. You all met him last week. He is. Is he a half elf? No, I think he's a human. He's just a coward. <clears throat> I thought he was uh, a dragonborn. No, no, that was that up. was uh, that was a Lathander priest. It was Ragnar. Are they? No. You, That's was... all over the place. I was so mad about it because 
Marigold well, is now a halfling. No, is now yes. a halfling woman because it is decided. But there's also another person that the kids was with, and that was Dragonborn. Yes, that acolyte was a dragon. Yeah, let's I, see. Aldi Estepar is half elven. Sergeant Yoram. Oh my god. Sergeant Has Yoram is a human guard. Yes. The only dragonborn that I remember was the acolyte that lost the kids. He feels real bad about that, too. Don't doubt it. Also, the fact that we were talking <laughs> about. Red Hand of Doom, and then La Fantasma started to use Spanish. I was like, I didn't know La Fantasma spoke dra <laughs> Draconic. That's true, Draconic was Spanish in that game, because we had <laughs> Mecha. Mecha was, uh, Mecha was running the Dragonborn, so he would speak in Spanish for them. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny nice. when when Mauro joined the table, because his he played an elf who had a relationship with a, a silver dragon, so we'd make them speak in Dragonborn together. <laughs> we used to do that in Halo. We used to make them speak when they were on the same pair together. We'd make them speak in Spanish for the game. And people know the fuck they were saying, but I can follow context clues. And I'm like, can someone get them a goddamn plasma pistol? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, oh, all right. Anyway. Well, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry for the derail. That's all right. So I guess I'm you'll find go Sergeant to has Yoram. Um, has. He, he sees you approaching, and he's like, "Oh, okay." Um, hello, uh, La Phantasma. How how can I help you today? I need information about the patrol that went missing, going down to Mirror of the Dead Men, and a guide to bring us down there. Please. Oh well, I I don't know if we can spare any more men for that. For looking for the folks, but we don't need the help looking. We just need a guide to get there. Well, I mean, you all can follow the high road down to the Mirror of Dead Men. That's okay, pretty straightforward. Um, but we we have to keep a watch on these lightning worshiping cultists and undead attackers. But if this is something you're Mary Band is up to. I uh, suppose I could show you the patrol path, and he makes a big to-do out of going into an office and pulling out a map from a chest and spreading it out across the table <laughs> to show you I'm, where the patrols go. <laughs> I'm just going to just bite real hard and smile. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> you got a mask with advantage, right? Yeah, sure, with an advantage, because he is La Fantasma. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank Ooh. God for that advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so you all can follow the high road down to the Mirror of Dead Men and retrace the steps of the path the patrol may have gone upon. Okay, and what? Uh, be, so is there anything that we should look out for in the swamp while we're looking? Besides well, the snakes and general small things? Well, you'll definitely want to watch out for... Oh. <laughs> check for him. You don't know. Oh, you know, you uh, want to watch out for snakes and gators. There's probably some trolls in there. And, you know, normal uh, stuff you'd expect to run into into a swamp. Nonchalant troll. Okay. Friends. All right. Well, can you... Uh, I need to... F am I... I don't have cartographer tools, do I? Mm, tell no. me. I think I do. No, I got Smith's tools. Son of a bitch! Well, I need to get somebody to draw a map. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to draw a map. Oh, to right, copy make a... of everything. 
go ahead and make an intelligence sleight of hand check to copy the map. What? <laughs> I mean, the party will get a vague sense of where you all are headed. <laughs> sure. That's right. I know. I know where <laughs> I'm looking directions at. Directions might be better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know what I'm looking at. I see the map on the table. I could I could put it. Yep, yeah, I got it. Got Meanwhile, it. uh, Silk, you managed to borrow a rowboat from the fishers down there. The Idle Island is right across the way. It's not a big deal. They let you borrow one. Uh, Token, what does he find when he reaches you on Idle Island? Me dancing around like <laughs> like I'm doing some druid ritual. Okay. <laughs> He's gone crazy. <laughs> goblin dancing on the idol island. Oh, I'm sure no. the fishers think this goblin is doing some some vile shit on this island. <laughs> uh I I walk up. Uh do I recognize uh the dance as anything goblin or orcish? Token. Oh, it's the one from Ice Age. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I do not recognize it. I wait for a minute to see if you stop when you see me. If you don't, then I interrupt your ritual. Say we got a job. I guess I see him. Okay. What do you want to do? I'll walk up to him. I'll tug on my collar. Have you been in here? <laughs> uh, Silk, Silk will pull out a potion of superior healing and say, I'm good. And then puts it back in his pack. Uh, La Fantasma has a, a job uh, tracking down a patrol of soldiers that went south of us. Uh, they haven't come back. Been a couple of days. Well, I don't know if we should leave. I've seen the future. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you have. <laughs> Uh, oh, make, a persu- so make a persuasion check token. He seems really earnest about the this mission he says he's having. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hold my hand up like I had <laughs> the pipe of remembrance. Oh no. And act like <laughs> I'm puffing out the smoke, but I'm going to draw it with prestidigitation. Okay. And stick figures. You can actually do a holographic images like uh, Star Wars Leia on that s- small handheld. You, you actually, oh. prestidigitation does that. It's just shadowy. No colors. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. We're going to watch a little movie together. I'm going to go sit by him. <laughs> Oh no! My fat task was like, "Where are they?" He's like at the edge of town, getting up, ready to go. <laughs> I'm gonna start going towards that way. I guess. <laughs> the fuck is taking them so long? <laughs> I drew my map and everything. Uh, Silk is absolutely enthralled, but does notice when La Fantasma gets to the fishery and says, "Ah, oh, we, we should probably go." <laughs> but you just watched. <laughs> yeah there if it happens then it doesn't matter where we are it's going to happen maybe we'll be in the right spot if we leave the boats won't be down there we're supposed to leave on the boat i don't it's see any here. i don't see any ships around here now and this is a harbor so it's not the right time Or do you have another harbor? Do you have another harbor that you have seen that we should be to? Well, maybe. Yeah, Yeah, we have with the little crab. Okay, so we should go back to the lighthouse 
uh, at some point, see if we can see some ships. I guess. <laughs> but we should probably start with helping out these folks and not waiting around for some ships to arrive. Unless you're going to start writing a book. No, I won't write books. <laughs> I can make banners, though. Okay. Uh, uh, Silk says, I got a rowboat. How did you get over here? And then he starts walking towards this rowboat. I'm going to inhale and float away. Of course. <laughs> so goes Are you going to use your bonus action to fly right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's good use. I like him making a, a big production out of <laughs> the inhale. It's actually a hot air balloon. Like a puffer fish floating over to the other side. Uh, yeah, Dijin warlocks can just fly uh, using a bonus action. It's pretty fun. Uh, so, uh, I row I... back over to the fishery and find La Fantasma. Alright. Hold on. All I right. just, I yeah, just David, plugged this the, in the and the new, it already ate all my battery. The gin patron uh, okay. allows you to bonus action fly at your movement speed. Plugged what in? What is he talking about? Well, I mean, I just turned this computer on, but now it's uh, uh, per power. day. So oh, he, has, he used one of his you, three or four uses the pepperonis. And for a ten minute jaunt across the, uh, the fishery. Uh, so Silk, uh, when he finds La Fantasma, asks, uh, so do you have a guide? No, but I have my map, and I'm going to show my map. He clearly drew it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which which squiggly line is the high road? This one right here. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm going to describe everything to him. I'm going to describe everything to him in detail. Okay. Compared to my shitty little job, but I'm going to be like, this is right here, this little circle right here. This is where all this stuff is over here. And then this is where is these the guys were supposed to be. To enhance ability? That'd be that'd be a good good spell to have in this party. I know, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> wait, do it. Wait, what is it? Uh, Enhance ability. Let's oh. try and check something about. Oh, that's a wizard. Instinctively clicked on wizard. Yes, they do get that one. <laughs> that's not bad. Um. Mm, is it on their regular list? Enhance ability? I don't think so. Thought it was one of their. What are y'all asking about? Ah, uh, the enhance... enhance ability spell. Yeah, I don't think it's on their main. I don't think it's a warlock spell. I think wizard got it with Tasha's. That's probably what I'm thinking about. Oh, because it was like a, a cleric paladin spell bard. Ah, uh, yeah, let me go check. Because Wizards got... Yeah, it was previously... Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. It was previously Bard, Cleric, Druid, Sorcerer, Oath of Glory, and Artificer. Artificer. I get why they gave it to Wizard, though. I don't think Wizard needed it, but I get why they gave it to him. Wizards gotta get by somehow. I guess. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's no charisma, and they're talking to somebody, and it needs to go well. I'll be right back. Eagle Splendor comes back into the room. <laughs>
I thought for sure I was going to have to find a token. I was going to be like, okay, Silk goes to the highest point on Idle Island and looks for like, a, desecrate, a desecrated uh, or destroyed statue and looking for a goblin one in its place. <laughs> Summer's almost gone, and you're not coming. Sorry, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go away too. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't feel so bad. All right. I'm so, anyways, all are. I'm gonna explain in great detail with my little map that I drew. Uh, uh, Sarge, since we're going out into the wilderness, Silk is going to go by. Two tents. Actually, <laughs> okay. one tent. It's one tent is two people, correct? How long can you stay inside of your um, your uh, genie's vessel, August? Four, really, but oh, I, and I guess I do need two tents. Because I think that's really the control on how long, how much, like, outdoor security you need, is how long he can stay in his his vessel. Yeah. That's how long I can, but I think everything else stays until I take it out. Dun, 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 dun. Even living things? Or living things later? He can stay in there... Up to a number of hours equal to twice his proficiency bonus. So you can stay in there for six hours. Almost. Almost a long rest. Okay, uh, so... Well, I doesn't think it... Yeah, yeah but can he do, like, two hours is just as long as you're not doing anything, you can get a long rest still? You can still get an exhaustion in two hours in the elements. Huh. It's the swamp. You can use that during his, like, taking uh, watch portion, though. Mm, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, I think he'd be fine. Huh? Okay. You can only I'm do that once per day, though, one. so he'd have to do it that way. One tent, two gold. Well, th um, they're back now. Okay, so you want uh, I'm gonna have David come get you? Yeah. Oh, they're home? All right. Um, did you text him already or no? No. Okay. I'll, um... David, your taxi services are required. <laughs> He's in the chat. <laughs> you're, 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 oh, is he in the chat? Yeah, yeah, no, in the chat. No, they, 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 no, they were going to get him. Him. Yeah, they, 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 they didn't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was. I didn't know he was in the t Twitch stream. Uh, make sure you text him though, in case he's not listening. I did. I already did. No, no, he's already okay. called you all dummies because he can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing okay. amazing. Well, at least your room's going to be pretty warm there, August. You're welcome. Is he even here? Did he peace out? Oh, he's here. Yeah. He stepped oh, off. August. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. As you all head south <clears throat> down the high road, you don't find anything of import as you're traveling down there, even though you're keeping uh, your eyes out. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Man, I hate the way they laid this out. This is so aggravating. It's not good. Survival checks needed. The, the bad We're going to get there in a second. Okay. When you arrive at the location that his map tries to describe, the start of the patrol route. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Silk having... You have the Outlander background, right? I do. Okay. You notice where the patrol likely started. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> and based upon La Phantasma's map and description that he gave you, he gave you, you managed to piece this together. <laughs> okay. You come across a worrisome scene. The map shows that the area you now travel is where the high road runs into the edge of the mirror of dead men. 
The Leyland soldiers start their patrol into the mirror here. Just off the path, the wet earth is dug up by battle, and bloodstains dot the ground. Okay. What would you all like to do? Um, follow the bloodstains. Before we follow, <laughs> I'd like to see how many jumped the four soldiers possible. Sure, as you start poking around the area, right away you find a broken cart half buried in the mud, the a broken sword blade. You find some buttons worn by Leyland soldiers. You recognize these immediately from the style of uh, clothing they've been wearing in the last week or so. Mm -hmm. And an obvious trail leads west and deeper into the mirror. Go ahead and make a wisdom survival check. You can make oh. one too, La Fantasma. I saw it on a one for too long. Mm -hmm. I was like, good. It's time. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, right away, both of you can uh, pick out some extra information. Uh, there's a large number... Man, come on, y'all. Why would y'all do that to me? Oh, man. The grid is too t intense on this, y'all. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's a large number of tracks that you notice right away. Most are by made by bipedal lizards of various sizes. Uh, some are booted prints the size of humans. You also notice there are a number of strange ruts in the mud that look like dual track sleds. The ruts are deep enough that the sleds are probably pulling a great deal of weight. And because you rolled well, you also know that on top of the mud along the tracks are several trails of slimy residue, like those created by snails as they move. So we've what got tameable. We've, we've got <laughs> bipedal gators. Giant. You gotta watch snails. out when I play with August. Like any creature he runs into. How do I turn this into a pet? They're a sentient being. The question stands. Mm. <laughs> ah, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> Every new creature, I gotta watch out because I was like, is this creature tameable? No. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, has Silk come across any large snail creatures or or slugs? Uh, make an extra check. Let's see what that creature eventually is. Part of that fever dream in the Underdark. <laughs> uh, let's see. This would be... I suppose you're all, if it reminds you of a flail snail. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you guys did encounter these in the Underdark, I think. It was that was must have been the session. Oh, maybe you judged. didn't. No, I don't think you have. Because you had multiple, you had multiple spellcasters then who would have really hated running into this. Uh oh. Perfect. Okay, so I say, uh, maybe it's a, a flail snail. <laughs> What the fuck is a flail snail? It's a, it's a large, large snail. Uh, despite looking like a snail, they're not actually beast. They're elementals. Oh. And it looks like they may be pulling sleds. Yeah. Oh. So we just need to follow these sled tracks that are probably going to stay for a couple days before... The rain and the water, mud. Erase them. All right, let's follow these tracks. All right. I'm on my horse. Do you all have the? I did not bring a horse. Do you all have the uh, the tower? Yes. Okay. Uh, you'll need to pick a guide, and you will have your guide. Roll a survival check in the tower. 
I've only got a plus one survival, so I think Silk has got the survival proficiency. Yeah, I do. So yep, well, there you go. In, in the tower. I was at my, yep, my wisdom is not that great. I could just punch things. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Oh, Time fuck. To die. Shit! It's fine. This is a good party <laughs> for the, the swamp. Is it? Yeah. I suppose it is. This is a good party for the I swamp. Mean, I mean, well, granted, I can't drown. So. Like, it's, it's gonna suck for me when I close in the melee, I'm sure, with whatever creature this is. Oh, yeah. Do you want to borrow my All right. You try to follow these trail, the trail of these creatures, but it's very wet. It's very muddy. It's difficult to follow. Uh, you lose track of the trail for a while, and you stumble into... Uh, this part of the marsh that seems a bit strange to you. Uh oh. And the Chan King succeeds on a. Aha! Jazzy, I need you to go ahead Second and make chance? a DC redacted intelligence nature check. Ah, <laughs> redacted intelligence nature. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I was waiting. I was like, oh, he's going to tell us? Redacted. Oh. Well, it was a DC 18 check. You rolled a 15. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is where hey, we're it's having not a ranger five or more. I didn't fail for my five or more. If there's nothing even oh, worse going to happen. not related to that. Oh. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. When a creature enters the area. What happens to me right away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you immediately sink. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not four the feet way. into the quicksand, and you are restrained. <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Uh, La Fantasma, yeah, make a insight oh, check. Yeah. La Fantasma and Token, both of you, make insight checks. I, uh, die, tower, or does it matter? Yeah, you don't need to. Oh, <laughs> make an insight check. Oh, oh silk. Yeah, oh, no. Climbing speed won't help me now. <laughs> I don't think he's here. Oh, no. Did he, okay. he must be talking to Okay. You. I'll just treat this as the two of you running then. Okay. Uh, so, La Fantasma, oh, no. you also fall five oh. feet. <laughs> Into the quicksand. <clears throat> I don't. Well, I can't meta meta no, this. Any, I can't remember how D and D works with quicksand. So, uh, is there anything yeah. that I can grab onto and crawl out? Mm. I'll ask if they need assistance. I need oh, you yeah. to make an insight check. Let's see if you walk into it as well. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> yep. Good. Yeah, but he can just fly out. He can. Oh. Well, he's restrained, <laughs> so no. No, he can't fly. Oh. oh, okay. I do know how to break out of restraint, so I'm. Go I need to make an athletic. I'll fight. let him not get restrained since he was likely walking behind you all, and he would have noticed it after two of you fell into the quicksand, especially La Phantasma, because DJ is loud. <laughs> now use that for your benefit this time. <laughs> Uh, I, I so, uh, so, up. Yes. <laughs> but not for you. For waiting us. for this moment. <laughs> I, I understand how restraint works. I would like to make an athletics check to break. I need restraint. everyone to go ahead and uh, roll initiative for me. Uh, oh. All right. <clears throat> One crocodile. Oh, and there's creatures. I thought it was giant just crocodile, drown. and it's young. One crocodile per two characters. Okay. About to get death roll. We're gonna die, Jazzy. Death roll. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to destroy you, as always, Jazzy. Uh huh. Uh, ooh, let's roll stealth for them. Does oh, I don't get. Wait, 
I get evasion. You do. Uh, add Does the that... evasion. Yeah, it's already on. So whenever you're forced oh. to make a dexterity saving throw, it'll get you. You'll take zero damage if you succeed. Half if you fail. Oh. Uh... It'll, it'll parse that automatically. Oh yeah, I just see that. <clears throat> Ooh, so oh. what's your passive perception? Never mind. I don't have to ask that. I have the uh, thing here. Okay, you are aware of the giant crocodile. I point out the giant crocodile. How far away <laughs> from it is? How far yeah. away? Am I? I'll decide how dramatically, how dramatic it is when I get there in a second. Oh, but you do not see the young, the young world twenty-two. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, I see, I see my 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 big. I see the big. Oh, weird! Threat. Giant crocodile didn't get initiative. Roll individual Ollie. initiative. Wait, okay. Ace beats me. Okay. All right, Silk. You can see a giant crocodile moving through the water towards you. It will be to you this round. Okay. I would like to. All right. If you would like to, you can try to escape the quicksand by using your action to succeed on a strength check. It's just oh, a, it's a variable it's DC. Not, it's not an athletics check. It's just a straight strength. Straight strength. The DC is 10 plus the number of feet the creature has sunk already, which for you is 15 four. DC. Okay. Because um, I rolled a four for you. Yes. So oh, the DC is 14. The crocodile is going to get to me this round, so I will rage to okay. make sure that I don't take extra damage. All right. How would you like to contort your body this time? Um, I'm going to go with claws. Uh, okay. And here's my straight strength check. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it just... I shouldn't have advantage? Do it I is a strength advantage? check. You are raging. Oh, I do! <clears throat> I thought it was specific to nope. the skill. It is all strength checks. Oh, there are only two of them. There's... Okay, I understand. Do I win? Yes, the DC was 13. You are able to break out. You are no longer restrained. Let me remove the restraint effect from you. Oh, oh. Phantasma is restrained. Let me grab that effect for you. Don't you worry, ah. Fantasma. Let me make sure you get all your, little, get all your things. Um, so that was my action. That uh, was your action, action and your bonus action. Uh, can I close to the giant crocodile to make sure that I'm between it and La Fantasma so that it doesn't chomp on La Fantasma? Yeah, the pit you're in is, uh, let's see, it is 10 foot square, 20 feet deep. So you can get out of the pit if you'd like and position yourself in front of the crocodile. Yeah, I'll I'll do that All just right. in case La Fantasma can't get out this turn. All <laughs> right, La Fan. Oh, it's Token's turn. Token, what would you like to do? Fuck, I know what we should do. And they're still stuck in the quicksand. I am. La Fantasma is. Silk managed to. Silk managed to get out. I'm just going to float over the. Uh, no, I'm going to use a movable rod near the quicksand and then like okay wrap a rope around it so he can like pull himself out okay well it takes an action to activate the rod i believe so you can pass it out and activate it for law phantasma so you can hold on to it i'll allow that okay <laughs> that's clever that's a solid turn yeah. <laughs> We've finally used an immovable rod in a way that is actually good and will likely save someone's life. Don't I the, am don't legitimately tell amazed. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> keep it secret. Keep it safe. Keep it. Keep it secret. <laughs> Let's see. When do you sink further? Let's see. At the start of each of the creature's turn, it sinks another one d four feet. Oh, okay. Uh... Good. Oh, well, well, I didn't do it to Silk, so I'm not going to do it to you this time. I would have beaten it. 24. Okay. I couldn't have, uh, couldn't have been. Yeah, you would have gotten it. Well, we'll see. A lot of Phantasma, I will allow you to reach out and hold on to the immovable rod so you do not sink further. That'll be Yay. the action. All right. Well, I want to break free. <laughs> Make a strength check. DC is 15 for you. 
<laughs> thanks to your thanks to your strength gauntlets and the help yeah. of your friend <laughs> you managed to pull yourself up by the immovable rod you may exit the pit if you would like to I want to sit on the rod like because it's over the pit right I'm climbing straight up with the rope so yeah, I want it. Sure. I want to make it you, look like because you are a wrestler. I will allow you to attempt this. Make an acrobatics check. <clears throat> acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Okay, you do not fall back into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> so, because my goal is the gator is coming, and because it's not in the pit, obviously. So the gator's coming. I want to be over it so it chases me and falls into that fucking pit. Okay. So that's that's my goal. I'm going to sit here and hang <clears throat> it like be his bait. All right. Okay. I get chomped this turn. From the side, the crocodile you couldn't see burst from the... Oh, I get an advantage because it was hidden. Where's my toggle? Uh-oh. Where's my toggle? Mm-hmm. Good thing I had advantage. I would have missed. A crocodile shoots out from the from the bushes and chomps onto you. To so who? You take oh no five points of piercing damage. You are grappled. Oh no! Restrained and restrained. I hate well, grappled in this way, you are restrained. <laughs> The giant crocodile also rushes forward. It has multi attack. Hooray! Are you? You're not in the pit anymore, though, right? No, he's not. He intentionally got in front of it to protect you, just in case you couldn't make it out. Oh, your DC would have been like a nineteen. He's gonna bite you. you. Oh, you were restrained, so I got advantage. Hey. Good. All right. You take a shit ton of damage. I have. Poorly. You take nine points of piercing damage. I rolled 19. Oh, I, I see that. You are grappled. And restrained? And restrained. Okay. okay. And then the crocodile. Ooh, it's got to reach with this. It's going to swing its tail out, and it's going to hit La Phantasma. No, it ain't. Oh, it did not have advantage. I rolled double once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that stand. <laughs> I'm going to remove the advantage. It's going to automatically miss in its attempt to hit you. Wow, it's got a plus eight to that hit. Jesus Christ. They hurt. This is a creature that eventually you were going to... Oh, wait, no, good. You couldn't wild shape into this. Oh, wait, no, you could. Yeah. At level 15, Ansu could turn into this. Oh! It's a monster. There's, oh, there's an image in Salt Marsh of one of these, and it, they're just a monster. Absolute... Thousand Jaws? Yeah, the yeah, Thousand Jaws one? Absolute yeah, unit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's a good thing it didn't hit you. You would have felt that for the rest of the day. All right, Alaric's not here. Silk, you're up. I'm going to start slashing at the young crocodile. I also know you are double restrained if you want to use your uh, reckless feature. Yeah, I, yeah, I was, I was hovering over reckless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's, here's uh, attack one. Go ahead. Attack two. Uh, uh, the claw feature allows me to attack twice, once per turn, with one mm-hmm. of my attack. Okay, I haven't used it in a long time. That hits. Oh, and oh no! My, and with my Holy extra fuck. attack, I will attack the giant croc. 
one of your grapple restraints ends. Uh, and I'm going to use my Orcish Fury, put a little punch in this one. Okay. Go for it. All right, you slash apart the first crocodile. It is a bloody mess, because I don't know if you all have seen a croc get hurt before. They bleed a lot when they get punctured. Uh-huh. <clears throat> this is a, it was a gut shot straight across the abdomen that, that got the one. First croc is down. The giant croc is engaged with Silk in deadly combat. Token, you're up. What would you like to do? You've got La Phantasma balancing on an immovable rod, and Silk has turned his hands into claws and is slashing into the creature that is biting onto his torso. What would you like to do? I'm going to go on the other side of the pit, or the quicksand, okay. Okay. and shoot the crocodile. You may do so. First thing. <clears throat> that will hit. All right. First attack lands clearly. You yank it in the pit. Your second attack misses. That's it. All right. Oh, oh interesting. I don't think he would have been able to yank the creature because the giant crocodile is huge, and I think that feature only works on larger, smaller creatures. Yeah, it's um, a three by three creature. It's a big, big. Boy. It's a thick boy. <laughs> Silk's gonna have La some gator Fantasma. It's your turn. All right. So, how far away am I from Silk? Uh, you are twenty feet from Silk. You are 10 feet from the crocodile. I want to... Can, I can't pull it, can I? With what? My, me. Uh, you could attempt like, to grapple the creature. It. it would have advantage on attempts to resist your grapple because it's two sizes larger than you. Oh. Uh, I don't... You automatically fail if it's two sizes larger, but you could climb on it. Oh my god. I'm gonna go look up the grapple rules real quick. I'm pretty sure... No, it's are. fine. I just wanted to yank it into the pit, but that's fine. I could go beat it up. That's the whole, I'm the going... whole point of the grapple feat, is it allows you to grapple one No, we're not talking... He doesn't have grappler. He's... Yeah. Hold on, let me just pull it up. Melee attacks, grappling... Yeah, correct. It must be no more than one size larger than you. Okay, yeah. I gotta go. Auto All right. All right. <laughs> Auto oh, and there's no size limitation for the pool. Oh, okay. Oh, fun. But he's clamped, so I didn't want to do it. All right, I'll be back. Okay. All right, well, then, I guess... It's, is it an action to tie the rope around me? Hmm. Yes, because it'd be your free action to pull the rope out and start fiddling with it, and it'd be your action to interact with it, to tie it up. There's currently no rope on that immovable rod. It was just the oh. rod handed out to you. Oh, no. yeah. okay. so you'd have well, to I want to jump on top of the gator. Okay. <laughs> so you're making a standing jump. Go ahead and make a athletics check to jump off from the well. I don't think it's that big a deal. Make an acrobatics check to stay on top of the creature. I think is how that works. Oh no! The giant crocodile gets to make an athletics check to not let you be on top of them. Rolls a twelve. <laughs> you guys are making me pull out all sorts of <laughs> variant rules tonight. <laughs> I'm like, can you guys just fight the crocodile? No, I'm gonna jump on top of the crocodile. 
<laughs> I thought you were going to have me do. Um... Oh, it was acrobatics that did that. Okay. Never mind. I thought you were just I going was to just... sit on your perch and shoot it. No. That's what I was thinking. I thought the two of you were just going to shoot it. I was gonna just if one creature yeah. wants to jump into another creature, I could do so by grappling. All right. A smaller or medium creature has little chance of making successful grappling. So you just want to get how it's kind of like that. Opponent can be treated as terrain. The person jumping on his back after making an ability, any ability checks necessary to get into position and onto the larger creature. The smaller creature uses its action to make a strength, athletics, or dexterity acrobatics check contested by the creatures by the target's dexterity acrobatics check. If it wins the contest, the smaller creature successfully targets space and clings to its body. Well, then the target space the smaller creature moves with the target and has advantage on attack rolls against it. Oh, that's pretty neat. Hey, there's a tactical reason for doing it. Uh, well. No, Let's that, see. that was so not a knock a on seven. you. I didn't know that last bit. He has a seven as his roll, which means he only got an eight. So I guess you are holding on to the back of the yes! barrel now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to punch him. I'm going to beat him. That was I'm your a, action, a, though. A, no, no, my that was just movement. That was just movement. Oh, okay. Oh. Whew. All right. I'm going to punch him. I'm going to punch it. Though I guess in the future I should probably put some sort of initial contest to getting onto the Ah, uh, hit it. You have advantage on these attacks. So. Oh. Yeah, so roll oh. with advantage on the next one. Well, that's, yeah, okay. All right, so that was your first attack. That still hits. Advantage on the next one. Yep. Ooh! Right. <laughs> got a roll. And then, right. as a bonus action, I'm going to haymaker it. Okay. I'll get advantage on that, too. But I'm about to feel silly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel silly for raging. So before you damage. roll the damage on that, because of the way the crit stuff works, go ahead and just click the. You're gonna. I want you to follow these clicks in order, DJ. Click okay. The max button on the bottom left. Max. Now roll the normal damage you would do for your unarmed punch. Strike. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a good workaround. <laughs> Was that max roll? Yep. Yeah, that's what Haymaker does. It max roll. Oh yeah, that's there. right. But I wanted to make Earth. sure you used your crit die too. Oh. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to have to do extra work. Ah. Well, that's cool. All right. The giant crocodile is not happy about its current predicament here. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy up, motherfucker! Let's see, how does it get you off? It's about. It can dislodge you as an action. It's not going to do that. It is going to bite Silk because Silk is still in its mouth. Dropped a one. Yay, me. <laughs> Ouch. Jesse's like, 10? What? <laughs> this is a lot of damage. <laughs> and it's going to use its tail and swipe at Lafayette Daz with a third of oh, my and HP. This. The third it of my is HP is gone. Start moving away with both of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Silk, you're up. Could it go reckless? <laughs> oh, it's going to move into. The pit. Because it can swim and it can hold its breath. <sighs> gotta this is for, fun. I need to wait for a rest before I can switch to swimming. And this is my a creature that is completely submerged in quicksand can't breathe. See the suffocation rules. Am I in it on the start of my turn? 
You are. Okay. So Silk is holding his breath. One minute plus rounds per con mod, which is like three. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm going to reckless start cutting into giant croc. Uh, do I need to? It, it's just a straight roll because I'm blind, I assume. Oh uh, yeah, advantage is advantage. I don't stack your yeah, straight. Yeah, so it's all taken care of. That's the first one. Here's the uh, freebie. And here's extra attack. Good. <laughs> okay, La Phantasma is restrained by the quicksand. How am I in the quicksand? Because you're holding onto the back of the clock oh, and it went true. into the quicksand. Right. It's like it went into like deep swamp water and stuff. That's fine. I can hold my breath. I'm gonna I've got a plan, I think. All right. I'm actually going to die. <laughs> the token cannot see the creatures. I suppose token will. He can't down. see Otherwise. silk. No, I'm not. No, because you all are submerged. You all are submerged now. Fuck. Yep. La Phantasma, what would you like to do? Now, I know we're submerged. I'm assuming I can't see silk. Correct. Can I feel around and touch him? Nope. Is he because you're in the back of the creature and he is in its mouth. Okay. And I know. So I want to crawl. I want to get to you because I'm holding my breath. I'm going to get to the mouth of the... I'm going to crawl my way. You cannot I, move. You are restrained by the quicksand. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Okay. The okay. only reason that the, the crocodile isn't restrained is his size, I assume. It's the thing that allows him to, to move through the terrain. Bigger. Bit. I want to... Can I... Oh, shit. I can't see the croc. <laughs> You're still holding on to it. You still have advantage to attack it. It's I don't need roll. advantage. I don't need advantage to attack it. I need to see it so I can cast my levitation. Ah, correct. It's a bit. It's a giant creature. So is the gator itself completely submerged in the thing, or is it just part of his body? Uh, it, well, dove into it, so all of it's submerged. <sighs> Shit. This is a oh conundrum. My this is a great, great encounter. This is amazing. You know, I can't just run a simple three round combat, Jesse. It's kind of no, involved. No, you all no. having to break down. No, this... I need to make a decision here, DJ. I'm going to have right. character panic and dodge. Uh, <laughs> All right. I mean, since I can't see the fucking thing, I'm guess I'm just gonna bap it. All right. Mark advantage. Roll your attack. Did it not yeah, click? It, it does. It not... You're restrained. You have disadvantage. Oh. See, oh. it says it. Advantage. Disadvantage. Oh. All right. <laughs> As you strike out and slash. Punch this creature. <laughs> you feel a sense of success as its body convulses around you as you sink an additional three feet into the quicksand. Um, okay. So I'm and D4 for you. I'll treat that as your first one. You have now sunk. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see how you guys get out of this. I'm excited. What would you like to do? I want... Oh, shit. Well, we're still... Is, is it free now to do whatever? You're still restrained. Well, we have to deal with some action economy stuff. So, Silk, you are released from the croc. At the start of your turn, you fall in, You sink an additional one foot into the water. You are now six feet underwater? Under the quicksand? I, I assume that it, I need to be 11. Because if, if this creature is a 15-foot cube they jumped into the water and completely submerged i've got to be near near the bottom 
of that. Probably. Go ahead and make a strength check for me. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) You do not get out. Okay. Uh, I can't fucking. Can't move if I'm restrained, correct? It's true. You cannot. Let's see. What is Token going to do? I suppose Token will tie a rope to their immovable rod and throw it into the quicksand. Ah, Phantasma, it is your turn. You sink into the wall. This. Oh my god. Come on. Roll, roll the die. Roll, roll the die. Roll the die. All right. Please make a strength check if you'd like to escape the wall. Quicksand. Oh, a phantasma breaks out. Do I know roughly where he is? Possibly. All right. I'm going to tie the rope. Or oh, shit, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. So I'm going to tie the rope. Or. I'm going to hold on to the rope and I want to jump back into where he is because I want to get to him. Mm, Interesting. And I want to cast levitate on the rope. Since I can see the rope before I go in, I can take your action to break out of this. So you're going to have to do this next round. If this, is, if this is part of your plan. Uh, yes. DJ, DJ, don't worry about time. We have until round 18 for me to suffocate. All right, Silk. I believe at this okay. point, Rage falls off. It does. Of the last round. Yes. All Thank you. right. Go ahead and make your strength check. DC is Oh, uh, D4 for how much I sink. Right. So you were at 6 feet, then 3 feet, then 2 more feet. So 9, 11, plus DC was 16 then. All right. You sink further. Sure. La Phantasma, what would you like to do? All right. I want to... Because I don't know how long Silk has before he decides to shit the bed. Okay. So, I want to make a loop in the rope and hold okay. on to it and cast Levitate on the rope and jump back in where Silk was sinking. And I want to sink down with him. Or I want to sink. I want to get down to him. Okay. You sink two feet. You uh, jump in. I'm gonna get the silk! So, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you to can, you I can use your turn that. to go down in. Make a, make a strength check. We'll see if you can force your way lower into the into the quicksand. Did that roll? No, of course not. Why would it? Because it was a 19. That's why I didn't show up on the fucking board. <laughs> All right, I will let you sink an additional seven feet. You are now nine, nine feet, feet into the quicksand. Cool. You are reaching around. You don't feel silk right away. Silk, what would you like to do? Oh, wait, let me roll for you. The DC was at 16. Yeah. By the DC way, has now increased to 20. Okay. By the way, I am gripping my right hand like I'm actually holding a fucking rope. <laughs> In real life? <laughs> I, I am, appreci- yes. I appreciate like, I, I, the role play. I am clenched right now. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Silk sure. sinks further into the quicksand. La Phantasma, he sinks a natural three feet at the start of his turn. So you fall, t- you're not 12 feet into the quicksand. Do I what feel him? Do uh, I feel no, him? Because he's All right. 15 feet. You were only. Oh, well, then I'm going to push myself down farther. Make a strength check. Rip. 
Make a strength saving throw. Oh, strength saving throw. Where the hell is... Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Jazz, he's like, oh no, Sarge, don't do that to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do not let go of the rope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Silk, it's your turn. Make a strength check. Your DC increases to 23. 19 <laughs> or higher now. Yes! Oh! yes! Yes! Look, at some point, <laughs> as you sink into further into the quicksand, your hand brushes against what feels like the roots of maybe an oak tree or something. And you manage to gank onto it. And you manage to pull yourself up through the top and you burst out of the quicksand, absolutely filthy and covered in mud. And you see Token there watching you all. I'm sure August would have something sassy to say for Token to you. Uh, Silk right. has Probably. a victory roar and then t- tries to get to you. You do not see La Fantasma. <laughs> it does, does see the rope, right? You see the rope is I would, in the water. I would like to grab a hold of the rope. Okay. That's my free action to hold on to the rope. That's holding it. That's everything's good. That's my turn. La Phantasma. Did I feel him go by me or brush by me? Make a perception check at disadvantage. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Oh, could you remove the restraint? Ah, I do not. <laughs> Strange. Ah, uh, yeah, let me remove that from you. I had bonus right. deafness well, on me for fun. You I have am... now sunk 16 feet into the quicksand. Do I feel anything? You do not. All right, I want to force myself lower. Okay. Make a strength check. <laughs> you do not succeed at forcing your way around in the quicksand. All right. All right. What would you like to do? <sighs> Keep going. <laughs> I'm going to try to go down farther. Silk, what would you like to do? Silk is going to ask Token, is he still in there? Yeah, he's looking for you. <sighs> Silk holds on it's to like the rope. Theme. Like, it's a theme. Like, Jesse gets <laughs> yanked into something, and DJ just yeets himself into it. <laughs> And Jazzy's like, why? Why is he jumping into the thing? Because um, I'm going to save you. I would like to... Oh, I I, uh, I have to sink, by the way. Because I'm, I'm not... I'm holding out to the rope, but I'm not on the, the immovable rod, so I assume I'm still... No, the rope was tied to the immovable rod. You can just grab onto the rope. Oh, from, okay. Uh, well, I would, like, I would like to go from the rope to dry land and then try to drag the rope and pull make it a, I will let you because you have the rope now just make a strength check let's just see Where this? I'll give you advantage because he's got a rope tied to himself oh I didn't I, character doesn't even know that it's it's tied to him athletics or strength just strength let's see you had sunk 16 feet, I oh, think. Oh, August is home. So the DC was 21. You do not pull him out, but you feel that you yanked on something. La Phantasma, it's your turn. You feel something yanking on the rope. Seems like somebody's trying to yank you out. What would you like to do? Um. Well, how far down am I? You're, 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 you're as deep as I was. Well, I guess somebody's holding on to the rope now, so you're 16 feet deep. All right. And somebody's yanking on it, like I'm trying to pull me out? Yes. They yeah, I don't true. know if it's... They seem... St- oh. Well, am I going to know that would either... Well, see, we just fought some crocs. So how do... Is Fluff Phantasma smart enough to realize <laughs> that it's oh still more than a creature? Make, an, make a wisdom check. <laughs> who, who would use the rope? Mm-hmm. You know it's I'll show you goblin. how stupid. I'll it's see how stupid goblin. you guys. I'll see how stupid you guys want to be. Both of you make a contested 
grapple check right oh now. Oh <laughs> <laughs> What is that, a strength? Strength athletics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Done, all right. Well, Phantasma, <laughs> you are pulled four feet up. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to so use it's my your movement. Turn. Oh, I'd like to continue my grapple checks against my teammate. Dragon so hilariously, at this point, your levitate's not going to matter because of all the people yanking on it. On the rope. Because Silk is holding on to the rope, you're, and you're held by the quicksand right now. <laughs> Silk and La Phantasma, please make another contested athletics check. Oh. <laughs> Status quo is maintained. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! It's your turn. Well, what would you I like get, to do? Well, I guess I'm gonna use the the rope to. I'm gonna move the rope up twenty feet. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work because Silk is yanking onto the rope. I'm, so I, the rope I'm making more than four hundred. Yeah, <laughs> technically, the rope feet. is currently restrained by Silk, and its movement speed is zero. Can't force it to move right now. Motherfucker. Well, I'm gonna climb out, I guess. Make an athlete make a strength check at advantage. Cause you have the rope. <laughs> Cause you have the rope. <laughs> you manage to pull yourself out and you see silk on the other end covered in mud trying to pull you out. <laughs> I'm just gonna just look at him. And just go, just like breathe out like a sigh of relief. <sighs> I'm gonna Holy get the shit. fuck out of the spot. <laughs> well, you know, you realize I kind of blew it off a little so August could get back. That's <laughs> oh, no, fine. <laughs> oh my All right. As that I'm gonna ask to him, I'm gonna be like, you are right, Phil? In Phil. <laughs> I will be fine after a little okay. rest. All right, good. Well, I tried to save you. <laughs> I came down with my levitated rope. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I, I, I'm sure you would have gotten me. Could have at least. Amazing. <sighs> I... <sighs> Can't believe I rolled. I am going to take. I'm going to just get a sense of unthankfulness, and I'm just going to. Walk away uh, and brush okay. my thing, clean myself up. Make a perception <laughs> check. Okay. <laughs> you managed to avoid another area of quicksand. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> As a note, you are still in hazardous terrain as you are storming off. <laughs> uh, so what would you all, you what would you all like to do? You point out the quicksand muffin Tasma. I might just say, I might not just let you fight it on your fucking own. Disrespectful. No. I'm going to tell them there's more quicksand over here. <laughs> DJ, in all honesty, You're Silk amazing. was no, not I sarcastic. I am just so I flabbergasted that I rolled a 19. <laughs> no, I, no player, I know. I'm I... still flabbergasted. Oh, Silk oh, was no, actually okay. genuinely thankful that you jumped in for him. Well, I'm not an oh intelligent person. Oh my god, Laughlin is so... grilling? Oh god, damn it. No, Dude! Why? Who is he making all this food for? Uh, President's Day? His brother's probably over. Um, oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Silk oh. suggests that we attach the rope at ten foot intervals to each other. <laughs> so that we, uh, only one yes, of us goes in at a time. Well, yeah, because here's the, well, here's the thing, is if we all manage, if we could tie all three of ourselves to this rope, 
I can lift all three of us up because I cast levitate on this rope. So I could just move it up. I thought it was ten. Check your spell. But you're also traveling in one hour increments right now, so. I don't know about going down with everyone. Okay. <laughs> Fantasma, you and I. So, the genie so, who can fly and teleport is like, I don't know about y'all. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Silk says, maybe the two of us should be fair. Well, I guess said, apart. I have Misty stuff. I don't that's need that. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's fine. Uh, like I said, you can tie it to me, but it's not going to save you. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's ten minutes, but okay. Yeah. So... Let's see. Does it? What does it say for following the tracks? It doesn't really give you guys a time increment. I'm I'll pull one hour increments. Then. I'll pull out a ring. I'll say, What's... if you really want to be tied to me. <laughs> <laughs> you like you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> you don't like it. That's why you didn't. <laughs> um, um, once we're out of the quicksand, Silk will suggest we we short rest. But once we're out of uh, immediate threat, yeah, I just wanted to float us over the what I what we can uh, see as. Oh, oh, yeah. The pits are just like 10 feet wide and they're 20 feet deep. Yeah, I just wanted to use the levitate to get over what I we'd seen quicksand so we didn't fall in. Yeah, you'll be able to get out of this hazardous area. If you'd Please. like to take a short rest, you may. I would like to short rest. Yes. And yes, I would like... like to switch my trait from climbing to swimming so that my character has a swim speed and can breathe <laughs> underwater. Okay, <laughs> sure. You notice gills forming on his neck token. This is incredibly alarming for you. I'm going to roll some hit. <laughs> Probably think <laughs> Do they look squishy? Probably. They look slick. Terrible roll. Uh, yeah. Oh, what are you slight of handing? What are you trying to do? About to suffocate me by gills. I Is accidentally that... rub it. <laughs> that is so Did you watch, I told uh, you. The boys? Did you watch the boys? Yes, yeah, we have. Oh, you guys watched it? Yeah, we actually were waiting for the third season to come out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's one of our shows that we started watching. Silk, you notice something poking one of your gills. What would you like to do? Start retching horribly, and I'm going to make a con save. Mm. You're fine. Does not puke. That was the first time that he's actually made the gills. All right. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go over to Silk and just like look at it real close and just go, hmm. I'm and I'm going to feel on my neck because I could, I could hold my breath. I'm just going to be like, hmm. Well, at least I don't have to have those ugly things, and I'm going to walk away. <laughs> I'm going to ask, if I put my mouth on it, can I breathe through it? <laughs> oh, gross. I'm going to slap Token upside the head. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think the answer is just no, because you don't process oxygen oh. that way. No. Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Hey, David's yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
I'd like to As you all finish the short rest, as you try to get back on track, please make a uh, survival check in the tower for me. Oh this is God. as bad as when we tried to do this, Jazzy. Like, it I was what, rolling at like a plus six? And, and we got lost three times. Oh my god. Survival tower. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jazz. You have failed again. I must destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's why I took the short rest. And I've got What gills. are we looking for? Missing patrol. You're following the tracks, but you keep getting lost because you don't have survival proficiency <laughs> in any sort of meaningful way. Oh, that's fun. I, we didn't get to do this with Ducky. <laughs> you move into an area where it starts to smell a little yuck. For those of you who have lived in Swamp, you recognize the smell. Um, is, it a, I, is it a yuck I've smelled before? Your character? Mm, yeah, I like at that. Everybody make an intelligence nature check. Yeah, La Phantasma and Silk, you recognize that any magical or normal fire larger than a torch could ignite the swamp gas. Oh. <laughs> and oh. that whenever a fire-based spell or effect is used, we'll roll a d6. On a 1 or 2, the gas will ignite. If the fire effect has an area, the area of the effect doubles. <laughs> also, treat all areas... All creatures in the area as being vulnerable to fire to approximate the area damage done by the swamp gas. What? Oh, oh, that is no. terrifying. I'm glad I rolled high. Silk has been some places. But He's as right. you're moving through here, a pit of snakes opens to the right of the characters. And one giant constrictor snake, plus an additional snake for every character, including psychics, emerges from the pit looking for a meal. Oh. oh, they didn't set up the encounter right. Let's burn them. I mean, we could step outside of the area and just set it on fire. But probably didn't realize the area until we were in the area. It's probably not. We're, we're deep in it. I hate when they do this. Is this worded inappropriately on D&D Beyond 2? Plus an additional... One giant constriction plus an additional snake for every character. Was it supposed to be like a poisonous snake? Ugh. I don't feel like doing this. Well, it's either three constrictors or a constrictor and two poisonous snakes, right? Yeah, it's probably a constrictor snake. That makes sense. They wouldn't be together. It, as far as real nature is concerned, snakes don't really mingle. Let's the see. Bigger Let's one set this the smaller right. one. <laughs> This is the way. Constrictor snake. <laughs> How do I set this up? Oh, it has to be a randomized encounter. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, well, while you're trying to figure that out, I'm going it's to fine. go ahead I and fixed it. roll. Everybody roll initiative. I, I want to see if I, uh, I got enough of that young crocodile for... Uh, or boots later. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll allow that. Did you I say you succeeded? Thank you. All right, friends. Oh, the snake's initiative. Go first. Right? Oh, uh, yes, initiative. is it a surprise or no? No, we as you said we hmm. seen them come up. It says it opens up, so I don't think it's a surprise. Ooh. The snakes get to go first. Oh, I'm oh, gonna roll a D3 to see who gets attacked. Oh, fuck me. Three, it is token. Rip. The giant constrictor snake goes after token. And misses. The constrictor snakes will spread their attacks out. They'll go after La Phantasma and Ugh. hit. Is 
Do I know? Are these things poisonous? Constrictors? No. No. But they are constrictors, so. Yeah, restrained. Fuck me. Boo boo for you. <laughs> <laughs> you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. And in familiar effects, you are grappled. Well, grappled in this way. You are restrained. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Constrictor stake number two is going after Token. Oh, because I apparently dropped it on Token. Token is going to take. Five points of bludgeoning damage. You are grappled and restrained. Constrictor snake number three is going after Silk. And will miss. La Phantasma, it's your turn. I'm going to punch this motherfucker in the head. Who grappled By me? All Which means. one grappled me? Uh, the top Which one? one? Uh, number one. Snake number one has, is the source of your grapple. All right. Constrictor snake number one. Rip. You will miss. You cannot seem to punch it in the head as it is squeezing the life out of you. But, but you will succeed that time. And then I'm going to haymaker it. All right. Go for it. Rip. You will miss. Mark off the point. Well, no, I, I hit it once. I got a point back because I struck, and then I so it just cancels. So you got the last point back from striking it, but you still cost you a point when you activate the bonus action to use it. You don't. You can't exceed the total you have. Token, well, I you. Well, the, what I was saying because I used one before. We, so even if you were, we got here, I it got away, away, and then. Yeah. It's fine if you start at this fight with however many you have, but you are now down one after yes. the first bonus action. Token, you're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to escape. <laughs> All right. Would you like to use your action to break out of this constriction? Yeah. Okay. Please make an acrobatics check. You successfully break out of the grapple. What would you like to do? Fly in the air. All right. You can use your bonus action to activate your flight feature. Yeah. And then... Uh, How many times I guess a day you get to, do you get to use that one? Uh, half. What? As you move out of the snake's range, it is going to make an opportunity attack. Oh my god, which snake did I have on you? Uh, hey, I guessed correctly. Oh, no, restraint was broken. Let me reroll. Grapple ended. <laughs> <It went. laughs> you are now grappled and restrained again. I think that ends your turn. Silk, you're up. Silk is going to pull out the great sword. Going <laughs> okay. To, I was going to gonna chop into snake that has La Phantasma. All right, I believe that is snake number one. Yes. One. Yep. That's the one that's already damaged, right? I'm going yep. to rage first, just because Ooh, that's, that's right. a Let's lot of burn damage. them out. That's, that's what damage. I want to see. There's <laughs> a lot of damage that can come my way. Uh, what feature are you using this time? Uh, tail. Okay. All right. Uh. 
All right, the snake will die. Second attack. I would like yeah, to move uh, over. Two is the one that has restrained uh, token. Correct. That is the one I'm going. That will hit. Oh, we activate cleave this time. Hey! Uh, All right. Yeah, right into three. That works for me. My turn's over. Alaric is not with us. The giant constrictor snake, seeing that silk is clearly the problem. <laughs> Snatch his ass. Uh, would you like to try to use your tail to block this one? I this would. 18 like to hit. Um, is... Nope. What's your yeah. AC flex to? Yeah, I don't know. That's 16. 16. That's Get crazy. wrecked! <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Uh, you take. Yeah, it's rolling d8s. Yeah, there's. I did want to five points of bludgeoning damage, and hilariously, you are now grappled and restrained. It's fine. Ah, 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 ah. Two d8. Yeah, I made the right raging oh i should do something horrifying next round oh no Oh no, he's got stuff the giant constrictor snake is going to carry silk back into its hole oh <laughs> no Fantasma. Oh, no. <laughs> Fantasma. <laughs> you may make an opportunity attack as may you token <laughs> oh hold on my was not restrained uh, well i still I'll hit try. it though yeah go ahead and roll your damage Oh, neither was Token. That because Silk cut all of you out. Team player. Oh, right. <laughs> token, go ahead and re-roll your melee attack. All right, you may bop. You will not have Shillelagh for this because you would not have uh, activated your magical effects for that. So let me reduce that damage down by I think seven. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Silk is now being carried deeper into a hole. It is dark in here, Silk. Thankfully, you have dark vision. <laughs> uh, Constrictor Snake number three. I'm going to roll for it. D4. Odds it's August. Evens it's DJ. Odds it's August. Slither, slither. Oh, Jesus. Character's gonna come out of this swamp looking like a pimp. <laughs> you are Boots. grappled. Jacket with the fur. Restrained. All right. La Phantasma, you're up. Do I still see this giant constrictor stick that's carrying silk away? It's hard for you to make it out because it's moving into a hole. But uh, right next to you, Token has been snatched by another snake. To figure out who you want to save first. <laughs> I'm gonna boop this one next to August. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh All no! Right. There we go. I'm gonna haymaker it. Boop. Mark that now. Yeah! I'm loving it. Yeah! All right. And then I'm going to run and do that. Oh. I'm going to run to the outside of the hole. Okay. <laughs> Prudence Token. wins out. What would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> the darkness. I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see? <laughs> I'll, I'll go into the hole. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, do I see the snake? Oh, this yeah, rope. <laughs> Say that again. You can see the snake. Okay, I'm going to shoot it. 
Go for it. All right. And it goes back three spaces. <laughs> three spaces or three spaces? Uh, two. But okay. right. I just wanted to say three spaces. So no longer gravel restrained silk. Okay, I'm now in a. I'm but the snakes in between me and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Silk, it is your turn. Uh, Some force has yanked the snake off of you and has lost its hold on you. Uh, am I in a small space or a medium space? Uh, giant constrictor snakes are huge, so we'll say medium. Okay, I will swing at the snake. All right. It just mattered whether or not I had to go reckless. Right, you should always go reckless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, DM? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> that hits, roll damage! <laughs> AC is too low to go reckless all the time. Got enough hit points, you'll be fine. <sighs> Not for long. <laughs> you, did, you did a third of my damage in, in the shh, opening round. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. Alright. Uh, the giant constrictor snake has had enough of this shit. And it's going to dash past you down its hole. You may make an opportunity attack as it tries to escape. Uh. Oh no! I have the tail, so I have to roll the tail. Damage. Alright. Oh. At one hit point, the snake is going to get away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How fast. Token don't get an opportunity. How much well, is because dash? token's at the back of the, the thing. You can go after it, but it'd be like you moving through difficult terrain underground because it's a snake. Oh, I, I guess I could let you follow it if you wanted to, in theory, because you have a swim speed now. I can't see it, right? No, you can't see it. Okay. I'm going to yell in the hole, Hello? <laughs> Token, you cannot see the snake. What would you like to do? Chase it. You're going to run into the, into the hole after the snake? I'm already in the hole. Okay. All right, and go dashing into the hole. You will not see the snake, though. Okay. Silk. My character does not know that snakes regurgitate their prey, and there could be a whole bunch of loot down there. Silk is just gonna walk back out of the hole. Now I have to give you loot? I'm not giving you loot. <laughs> 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 Only if we chased it down. At this point, the snake is going to get away. <laughs> That's how snakes work. <laughs> they crush you, and then they they spit everything out. All right. Good job, friends. You have survived that encounter. Is everybody okay in there? <laughs> they walk out of the so, Silk walks out and says, I'm fine. Or, like... And then it walks over and picks up the the four constrictor snakes. And uh... I just feel so bad for you all that you're never going to find these people. They're probably, <laughs> down, they're probably down this hole. <laughs> we haven't made it. I don't think so. Oh, are we? Oh, are you? Oh, that's get... interesting. Let's see. Holy check. Who's that check? Who's that? Party must succeed on three wisdom perception checks on a failed check roll on three roll. Anyone attempting to or aiding with the survival check roll checks on a check wisdom perception checks to spot random encounters. Oh, that's interesting. So well, here's what we'll do. We'll let one of you aid Silk to make the percept the uh, survival check. And then I'll... the other people can keep an eye out for uh, potential encounters. I'll aid them in the survival. Well, do you have perception token? No. Do you have perception left on Tasma? No. 
<laughs> so I have a plus one. Tower. I have a plus one. Uh, Sarge, do I uh, get enough for uh, for making a? Uh, oh yeah, no, regular constructor things only like CR one half. You're fine. Oh, okay. I I want to get enough uh, snake skin for a a vest to replace the rawhide one that I'm. Okay, this time you folks move through. You do not get a, a uh, encounter this time. Yay! All right, you managed to follow the tracks. We have two more successes to find. Roll again. <laughs> uh, That's two successes. Yeah! Oh, now you guys can roll well. Okay. Yeah, and I'm getting help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. I help. got to. Let's I'm going to pat him on the back. I would have gotten. Let's see if I'm going to run it anyway. You can run it anyway. <laughs> you just have to. Go ahead. Ooh. You got to give Token the, am... the chance to see it first. I am going to run it anyway. Token, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! This is a long, I was like, long "Oh, I'm game. gonna run this one." Token, you notice it? You hear? You know where you're going, but you notice to the side some sort of commotion happening in the. Oh, this is a weird encounter. Oh, this one is. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's incorrect. All right. It has how much hit points per character? Oh, that's good. Fuck oh. that. No, no. No, 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 no. Any time that it's HP, your Sarge is just going to max it. <laughs> you see oh, three mercenaries <laughs> fighting this. <laughs> three mercenaries fighting that. Hey, oh, there's people fighting it. Yes, we're, we're we're about to we're about to get some retainers out of this one. Awesome, let's go. Can That's we tame it? Life. No, I'm talking about the people, not the Hydra. There's no I... taming a Hydra. Uh, it has three heads currently. Everyone roll initiative. What would you like to do? Well, that's right. You gotta stab this fucker in the heart, don't you? Oh, wait. Here, let me do this, Ben. I know nothing about this Hydra. Huh. How do you kill it? That's kind of cool. I'd want one as a pet. Everybody wants to weirdly tame all of the absolutely feral monstrosities. Silk out. has seen some shit. <laughs> I know. Well, you know okay. it has multiple heads. You know for a fact that it has a reaction for every single head. <laughs> okay, but how do you kill it? You have to keep hitting it, and you need to burn it. Not cut off the head. keep the heads from coming back. Are we still in... Your methane are we hazard? still in the? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We still are we still in your methane gas? Yeah. Methane hazard. Oh no, not for this one. Okay. Oh damn. <laughs> about to that would be easy. That would be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Token, you're first. What would you like to do? I'm just gonna shoot it. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go up and punch oh, it. Oh shit. You've got a Glock. You don't have to do that. I know. That's a low roll for you. Whoa. Damn. Rip. <laughs> what the hell? The pendulum. <laughs> wow, that, those, that, that rolls just I went like downhill he rolls real quick. Week. I was like, oh, wow, Token actually has the potential to knock off a head on their own. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he goes uh, and hides <laughs> behind him. He ain't hiding very exactly well. exactly where you are. <laughs> The Hydra He's head behind us, moves towards you all. Oh, no. Is it coming in a straight line at me? 
I suppose it would, technically. Do the mercenaries oh. get attacks of opportunity? Uh, they are useless in the fight for this. They do not count for that. Right. They have a specific role in the combat. Okay. I don't like that. I don't know. All right, so one of my abilities. <laughs> I know what they're I for. don't. <laughs> I don't understand how it's considered an action if I can do it when they come 10 feet towards me. Or do I have to wait for my turn and then use it? What is the feature? It's my drop kick. What does it say? It says performance time, one action. You uh, you make a single... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. It's my definition. Just ignore me right now. Okay. Well, Hydra's coming towards you. As it gets within 10 feet, it will begin attacking all of you. And it will kill you all. It will attack Silk. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. Because he looks tasty. It's going to attack that little goblin that thought it could hide behind something. Yeah. Those mercenaries wielding swords. What's your normal AC, August? Because I'm going to give you some cover because you'd be trying to hide at this point. Oh, yeah, that's going to miss. 14. All right. That will miss. What about the mercenaries? They're, they're wielding swords, aren't they? It doesn't really say. They don't even have a stat block. Oh, I thought they were there to make more heads. <laughs> no, they're there to actually <laughs> control the heads. They have alchemist fire on them. Oh, oh okay. All right. Silk, it is your turn. Um, uh, to have to use a rage. And I'm going to just hope that everything when works out. The Hydra out. takes X number of damage. Missing the turn. Uh, tails. Tails. And I'm going to use the uh, great sword. All right. Uh, I'm going to go reckless. Okay. You're raging? I'm burning through them all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you are. <laughs> like D&D again. I, I, I feel oddly <laughs> uncomfortable. It's been weeks of just, like, breezing through everything and enjoying right. myself. All right, all right. Jamie's like, this has been so much fun. Look at all this neat stuff I get to. Oh, no! He bit me! He bit me right in the shop! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, you did short rest if you want to use Orkashiri. I do. Uh, uh, and here's that damage. Okay! One of its heads is cleaved off! Uh, and I'm going to move. No, I can't. I can't ruin their line of sight. I'm good. I I am. I moved up to within five feet. Obviously. Let's see. As an action, you can do this: shatter an impact, make a range attack against a creature, she fires an improvised weapon. Okay. What do we have to say about these guys? <laughs> I guess I'll just give him a plus two. Whatever. All right, La Fantasma, it's your turn. What would you like to do? <sighs> All right. Well, I see that Silk went up and just chopped its fucking head off. One of them. Um, I guess I'm just I'm gonna shoot it. All right. I don't miss. Like to do that twice. Mm -hmm. Still get oh, Okay. Time. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was just for my melees or not. No, I didn't. I just extra attack just feels so much yep. better in the game because you get two chances to hit, and then that turns into additional damage. The economy they gave you is just not well suited to the way Five E works. Token, you're up. 
All right. I'm going to cast. I'm going to look at my gun like something's wrong with it. <laughs> Muck. Ooh, chill touch. That's an interesting call. Go for it. Would you like to use your inspiration? Sure, why not? All right, roll again. <laughs> Prophetic visions. You saw this. All right, that'll hit. <laughs> now, chill touch prevents the creature from regaining hit points. Yeah, it's got an effect. Let me go read the exact details of Chill Touch to see if it full negates the Hedera's feature. Oh. Ha da 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 da! You create a ghostly skeletal hand. Not a chill, not a touch. Let's see, make a spell attack. On a hit, target takes necrotic damage, cannot regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Don't think it prevents the regeneration. The creature will not heal. Yeah, no HP. But if it would have gotten a limb back, it would get back. All right. Is there anything else you wanted to do on your turn? <laughs> oh, this time you feel hidden. As a note, Hydra has a 16 passive reception. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, it is the Hedro's turn. It does not know where that little goblin went, but Silk just hit it. Oh, it grows two heads. Mm hmm. <clears throat> So I knocked off one, replaced by two, so we're up at four. It is, yes, at four. Dun dun dun! At the end of its turn. Oh, at the end of its turn, it grows two heads for each one that died since its last turn. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. So two heads. <laughs> two heads. Oh, wait. Let's have the mercenaries kick in. Plus two. All right, I'm just going to go three, three tunnies real quick. They need to roll a 13. Oh, shit. Two of them hit. Where is my alchemist fire? I had it. Threw it away. Oh, nope, here it is. Alchemist fire flask. On a hit, the target takes 1d4 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. Can end this damage by making... Oh, okay, well, only one of them. After the first one. Oh, the first one hit. Okay, so they're not going to throw it. So, let's add an effect to the Hydra. DMGO 1D4 fire or duration 10. Let's see if that works. It did. Neat. All right. It takes two fire damage and will now not grow an additional head. And will instead savage silk for removing one of its heads. Wait a minute. Didn't you go reckless? Uh, yes. Mm, I, didn't I must have turned it off. I must have turned it off somehow. Okay. I was like, yes, I definitely... I'm gonna hit you again! Damn it, both of them were so high! Oh, That's hey. a 21 hit. Damn it. That's close. Ha! Die! <laughs> oh, nice! Alright, it is your turn, Silk. I'm gonna lay into the heads. Okay. I'm loving the energy. <laughs> Ah, you're playing like a barbarian. All right. Second attack. Just 
closer and closer. Uptick every time. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that does it. <laughs> the Hydra <laughs> has been defeated. It only had 30 hit points per character. <laughs> okay. I was like, all right, fine. Again. 90, that's it? Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> normally they have like 172. Uh, but I get it if they're trying to make it they're trying to make it a flavor one where it's like it's been like you all come across a scene where these mercenaries are already battling it, even though they're not doing a great job. And uh so it's not gonna be at full health. It also keeps you all from getting absolutely crushed because a hydra can tear apart a party very quickly. Well yeah, it, it has so many actions. Alright. As that fight comes to an end, the mercenaries take a break, and you see them exhale. Whew, all right, well, uh... Whew, thanks for the help there, friends. Uh, no problem, uh... Of course. Have you seen any flail snails in the area? Or tracks? Yeah, there's some, um... We hadn't noticed anything, but, uh, we noticed some extra tracks, but we usually leave the lizard folk alone. We were, um, what? uh... Well... The guy gives the sheep his look. Uh, we were hired by a uh, water avian circus owner who wanted us to capture a hydra and bring it back as an attraction for his circus. Uh, the hydra approved uncooperative, as you uh, just discovered. Yeah. Would uh, a giant... You look structure... around and there are multiple dead guys in the background. <laughs> uh... Do you think your uh, patron would be interested in a giant constrictor snake? No, it was pretty explicit, and the contract said we had to get a hydra. He doesn't want us to bring back just a snake. We already kicked that idea around. Too bad. Uh, well, appreciate you setting it on fire. Uh, we're uh, out of Lyland. If you uh, want to head back with us after we... Uh, Go have a conversation with the lizard folk. Oh, well, um, we're going to probably gather up our dead and head on out of here. But um, hey, thanks for doing us a solid. They hand you a sack. It's got about 50 gold in it. And you can take the rest of these. Hopefully they prove helpful for you. They hand you a sack. They have another sack that has four vials of alchemist fire left over in it. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, it. Have you seen, by chance, a troop? They haven't. They said they stay away from oh. They, But they did tell us that it's well, the folk. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if they, you know, I don't know. I'm going to ask, get captured. why does this alchemist fire stop it from regenerating heads? <clears throat> well, whenever you chop off a hydra's head, like your um, athletic fella here seemed capable of doing, uh, the heads grow back unless you burn them. So you got to get them on fire to keep the heads from popping back out. Uh, is fire the only way? Fire is the only way. Alchemist fire is pretty good because it keeps burning them while it's on them. So you only have to hit it once. Problem is, it's hard to hit the fucker because it moves so fast. Mm, okay. Well, maybe uh, one of you could help me out. I'm I'm looking at at taking a bit of that hydra hide back with me. I've got a, quite a collection from this trip into the swamp. And Silk kind of, like, shows them, shows them all of the scaled hides that he's collected. It's a disgusting mess because it's all wet. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's not going to go bad in a day or two. <laughs> Any chance yeah, well, that? sure. I no. mean, we're not going to be able to get much else out of this. I guess we could, uh, you, you did it right by us. Help you out with that if you want. Sure. Awesome. Silk walks over. Uh, can I get advantage with this nature check? I assume it's like, uh, like a 15 plus, right? Yeah, Hydra's are CR8, so I'll let you get advantage on this, and you can get a plus two from them knowing what they were coming to find. Okay. Little, little Hydra. I'm about to have Hydra pants. Looks like it. <laughs> uh, 
So you all may harvest what you would like from the Hydra if you want if there are things La Phantasma or a silk I'm sorry or a token wants from the Hydra. What can we get from the Hydra? I'll get whatever. What do you guys want? Are those spikes? Maybe. You can I'll take, take a, a few of those. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it looks like they've got barbed barbed heads. You guys don't have like an appropriate I want, party for yeah. like, strongholds and followers though, because there's like three different roles for harvesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I want what you want is one of them and you can only make two. I more. want to get I want to get the uh there's spikes on the I don't know where the picture of the Hydra went to. But um the spikes are on the head. Yeah. I want to scalp one of them. One of the heads with the skin and the spikes. Okay, well. Because I want to make a new mask out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. skin. I'm gonna I'm gonna skin the entire head of that one of the hydras and make a get a mask made out of it. Uh, the forehead of a hydra is like the same size as your as your torso. Good luck. That's great. Let's see what you <laughs> guys a very make large out of this. Mask. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Before we get to the next scene, where you all will finish reaching the end of this uh, run, we're gonna do our little bio break here. Okay. And then we'll pick up with uh, what's going on with this missing patrol. Yes. I can't wait for us to make a mistake. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. All right.